In this video, we will work on some exercises on scientific method and reasoning. In this course, we have learned that the idealized scientific method includes the following five steps. Step 1. Observation Step 2. Hypothesis Step 3. Prediction Step 4. Experiment and Step 5. Confirmation or Falsification We also learned three different ways of reasoning, including induction, abduction, as well as deduction. We will start with a past paper question in December 2015. While studying the history of depression treatment, Emily came across the following newspaper clippings in 1920 from the Washington Halo, which highlights Dr. Henry Cotton's practice of removing infected teeth to cheat insane teeth and bad teeth. It has been known for some time that bad teeth have a deleterious effect upon the person's health. The extent to which they contribute towards mental deficiency is demonstrated by the facts in the report of Dr. Henry A. Cotton, superintendent of the New Jersey State Hospital for the Insane. He says that, as a result of cheating bad teeth and removing the source of infection, 62 patients suffering from the mental disorders were discharged from the institution last month as cured. Among the cases cited is that of a soldier who had developed a maniacal attack with hallucinations. He was admitted into the state institution on July 17. After he had been treated in government hospitals, his tonsils were removed three days after he entered the asylum on July 24. It was agreed by his relatives and by hospital authorities that, with the exception of a lack of initiative, he was in normal mental condition. An examination shows that he has seven infected teeth. When these were removed, the patient improved rapidly and went home. Having taken SCNC 111, Emily wondered how this incident involving Dr. Cotton's practice aligned with the idealized scientific method as discussed in the lectures. Say which part of this newspaper clipping can best be associated with each of the following five steps of the idealized scientific method. Your answer for each step should not exceed one line of your answer booklet. If nothing can be appropriately associated with any steps, please write down new as your answers for those steps. A. Observation Is there any phenomenon or peculiarities observed in the newspaper? The answer is no. First of all, the motivation of the research is not stated. Second, if we get back to the article, these 62 patients cannot be viewed as observations because the one you're going to test, which is the soldier, is among the 62 patients. Therefore, the observation is new. So the hypothesis is bad teeth may affect one's mental health. With this hypothesis, what can we predict? So we predict that a soldier who had developed a maniacal attack with hallucinations should be cured after removing his bad teeth. Why? Since the hypothesis is bad teeth may affect one's mental health, so apparently these soldiers who developed a maniacal attack with hallucinations should have mental health problem. If bad teeth may affect one's mental health, then he should be cured after removing his bad teeth. So this statement is a deduction from the previous one. So how can we test it? So his tonsils were removed three days after he entered the asylum. And we confirmed it. It was agreed by his relatives and hospital authorities that, with the exception of a lack of initiative, he was in a normal mental condition. Before we start our next correction, let's take a look at this picture. In this picture, we have two lions. The one on the left is a male lion, while the one on the right is a female. So how can you tell it? You can see that this male lion has mink on his head, while the female lion does not have mink on her head. These two lions appear to be mating, but both of them seem to be male. So in May 2016, we ask, Photographs that seem to show two male lions mating 
have recently gone wild online. While these photographs may indicate homosexual behaviors among lions, some people have argued that one of the two lions is actually a female with mane, due to genetic abnormality. In response to this claim, others have suggested analyzing the photographs in detail. With the hope to identify the sex organs of the two concerned alliance. Now, consider applying the scientific method to this scenario. If we are to associate the above act of watching the video in detail as the experimental test, what would be the corresponding hypothesis and prediction? So we can see that here is that some people have argued that one of the two lions is actually a female. So this argument is actually a proposal to explain the phenomenon. And this is why the hypothesis is one of the two lions is a female. So in this case, what is the prediction? If it is a female, then it should possess female sex organs. And that's why the experiment is watching the video in detail. So we will watch the video and see whether we can find female sex organs. In December 2016, Donald later considers putting ethanol in a water bottle. He thinks that the number of bacteria per unit area will still be doubled every five hours, but at the same time, the added avenue kills 100 bacteria per unit area every five hours. So he sets up a non homogeneous difference equation for the scenario. Once again, the number of bacteria per unit area on the inside surface of the water bottle is 256 at time, which is zero. The time when the water bottle is cleaned thoroughly using detergent and the avenue is added which stay of the idealized scientific method as introduced in our lectures to the models in the above parts correspond to. So in the whole paragraph, it gives a lot of information. And the key point is he sets up a non-homogeneous difference equation for this scenario. And that's why it is a hypothesis because these models postulate how the number of bacteria is changed at a wide range of time. And it is not a prediction, because it does not tell us what would happen in the future. Band, Charlotte's friend, studied insect physiology. He was interested in knowing if the cockroaches in the restaurant kitchen would develop resistance towards insecticides. That is, initially the cockroach might be affected by a certain brand of insecticide. But if some of them manage to survive, they and their offspring would become immune to that brand of insecticide in the future. Ben had this thought because as Charlotte was testing the efficacy of the insecticides, the cockroach seemed to be less affected as Charlotte repeated the test. After talking to Ben, Charlotte tried to test if the cockroach would develop resistance by exposing them to three brands of insecticides, brand A, B, and C. Ben was very confident that the resistance would be developed towards all three brands. Charlotte also wondered if it would be harder for the cockroach to develop resistance towards brand C. It was because brand C was actually made by Charlotte using natural ingredients, and she believed that products made from natural ingredients would be better. After several trials, the cockroaches seemed to develop resistance towards brands B and C, but not towards brand A. According to our discussion of the idealized scientific method, which of the following statements about the above incidents is correct? The answer is C. Charlotte's idea that products made from natural ingredients would be better is a hypothesis, while her idea that it would be harder for the cockroach to develop resistance towards brand C is a corresponding prediction of it. December 2019 In our first tutorial, we discussed some stories of scientific discovery fit with the scientific method. Now it is your turn. Pick a story of scientific discovery and write in 400 words how this story fits with or deviates from the idealized scientific method we discussed in the lectures. Any reflections you have? One example can be the stories that you learned in the first tutorial. Of course, there are many other examples which fit idealized scientific methods. December 2020 Several statements in the following scenario are numbered, based on what has been discussed in this course. 
How can these numbered statements be matched with the five steps of the scientific method? Identify the best statements that fit with a certain step. No two statements correspond to the same step, while one statement at most fits one step. If you think a statement is not related to any steps of the scientific method, choose not available as your answer. Medical experts around the world have recorded many cases of contagious disease and study how they spread over the past centuries, with COVID-19 as a recent well-known example. This is an observation. President Trump and the First Lady Melania Trump were also test positive for the coronavirus on Friday, October 2nd, 2020. So this is unrelated to the observation. And we will put down NA. Contagious diseases like COVID-19 can be spread via close contact, such as working closely together and having a debate. So this is our hypothesis. The Vice President Mike Pence the president's daughter and his son-in-law worked closely with the president, while the Democrat candidate Joe Biden had a heated debate with Trump on Tuesday. This is also an A because this is not related to the hypothesis. Therefore, these people were at risk of getting COVID-19. Then it would be a prediction, because if you get back to the hypothesis, it said contagious diseases like COVID-19 can be spread via close contact, such as working closely together and having a debate. And then these people indeed were working closely together and having a debate, and hence they were at risk of getting COVID-19 by deduction. Luckily, all of them test negative for the coronavirus. So this is an experience because they all go for a test. Therefore, close contact does not necessarily spread coronavirus. So this is a falsification because they didn't get the coronavirus. So this ends the first part on scientific method. And in the next video, we will work on reasoning.